Hey everybody, this is Bruce with Apollo Travel Orlando. I'm here with Richard Moss. Everybody thinks I have the best job in the world, but let me talk to you about the guy who actually does. This is Richard Moss. His job is to do one thing, and that's talk about St. Lucia, who is probably one of the most beautiful places on the planet. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me, Bruce. And you are so right. She <laughs> is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. The only country name for a woman. Did you know that? I did not. She is. That's why our tagline is, let her inspire you. She's the Helen of the West Indies. Okay. So we were in St. Lucia seven times British, okay? seven times French. So wars were fought over this gorgeous destination, which is why we're talking about it today, right? Now, most people know Pitana Mountain, but they don't know a whole lot about it. But uh -huh. St. Lucia has a whole lot of different communities. Each one has a different personality and culture to it. That's correct. But, but, but going to St. Lucia and not visiting the Pitons is like going to Paris and not seeing or experiencing the Eiffel Tower. So it's our UNESCO World Heritage Site. The first St. Lucians, the Amerindians, considered it a very sacred place. And today, it's home to a lot of communities and they're only too happy to take you hiking, which is a four hour thing, up the mountain and down, four hours. Um, you should be fairly fit if you're doing that, but let me tell you, those views are amazing, but the best part is being with members of the community, who are the guides, and when you come back, they give you a local ice cream made from natural fruit, like coconut, soursop, pineapple, absolutely amazing. It really is. So how, e how, easy, is it get to, how easy is it to get to St. Lucia? It really is, you know. We have lots of non-stop service, primarily um, along the eastern seaboard, so New York, New Jersey, um, if you're in Pennsylvania, Boston, Charlotte, then we have Miami, there's daily service, sometimes twice a day, and also out of Dallas. So if it is you're on the west coast, you can always do that red eye mm -hmm. and come through Dallas, come through Miami, come through Charlotte, and you board your flight in just about an hour. And then St. Lucia is literally three and a half hours from Miami. So nice, easy, convenient. And that's really what travel should be these days, right? Now, a lot of my clients, they're familiar with the Sandals brand because that's a major part of my market. But what else does it offer in the way of accommodations down there? And Sandals really does have, um, it's, a, it's the second island that Sandals has a lot of properties on. And you can typically go from one to the other, full exchange privileges. Um, however, we also do have a fair amount of family resorts, right? So you can go all-inclusive, you can go EP. All of our hotels, however, do have the potential to offer you an all-inclusive package. So really, we like to say you can travel to St. Lucia and vacation according to your travel lifestyle. Or your lifestyle, maybe. Correct. Exactly. And how you, how you like to travel. And even if you're at an all-inclusive, folks. You really need to go out and experience our destination and some of those great dining options. You can dine around the world in St. Lucia. There's sushi, Italian, Indian, da da da. However, you must try our Creole cuisine and you can also get steakhouses. I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. But one thing we're really known for, apart from the family vacations, are the honeymoon and romance options. Anywhere you are on that gamut of love, we can accommodate in St. Lucia. Whether it's a proposal, we have some of the most dramatic backdrops for you, or maybe it's the um, it's the um, anniversary. It's it's really the romance destination of, of the world, might I say? Yeah. Now, a while back, I came across a very very unusual stat that besides for Greece mm -hmm. and cons. You are one of the yachting capitals of the world. Absolutely, we are. <laughs> Absolutely, we are. And to give a little bit of credit to to or some of our neighbors, there's some gorgeous sailing beyond St. Lucia as well. So it makes for we have two world class marinas and lots of anchorages around the island. So it makes for a really full experience. And then don't forget or Chairman's Reserve Rum, because if you're sailing, <laughs> you have to have um, your spirits, right? <laughs> to get your spirits up. <laughs> I'm being really awful there, but you know what I mean. No, you're doing fine. Um, you're doing great, and then, we, and then lots of adventures as well. And we're also a chocolate destination. We've been growing cocoa for well over 250 I years. I did not know that. And you can make your own chocolate bar from yeah. scratch. 
texture. We have some really good chocolate and foodie tours because we know that people do travel for food as well. So yachting, diving, foodies, um, family travel, romance travel, and what am I leaving out? Adventure travel. Amazing. So what are your favorite things to go ahead and do there? When you go there and you're on vacation, you're off, what do you like to go ahead and do personally? What can they, what do they have to go ahead and see on the island when they're there to not go ahead and leave something? And I live there and I'm constantly going out every weekend to do different adventures. So that chocolate tour is at the top of my list. But next in line, I would say, is the healing mud bath. So it makes you look and feel 10 years younger. That's my secret. <laughs> so final question to kind of recap. Uh -huh. Yeah. Of all the destinations they can go ahead and do, mm -hmm. and Caribbean has a ton of them, yep. why St. Lucia? Because St. Lucia's unique creolization and culture, it's Amerindian influences, African influences, French influences, British influences. Did I leave anything out? Did I say African? <laughs> East Indian as well. All of those have come together to form a very unique culture that you find nowhere else. And the level of authenticity that our accommodation providers, whether it's a B&B, &B, whether it's a hotel, a villa, a resort, they put all these little elements into the service and include them in your turndown service at the restaurant. You're definitely getting Creole cuisine. So at the end of the day, you would never be in St. Lucia and not know where you, where you are, like some of those other destinations, right, <laughs> that we know about. So a lot of people think that all the islands are the same and there's a sea of sameness St. Lucia after you've tried the others you know this is a highly desirable destination and it's really for that fact there is a unique appeal and a level of sophistication of our people that you just don't find anywhere else is there anything else you want to go and add and we pretty much covered it all yes one final thing come to St. Lucia and don't live an ordinary life Call Bruce at Apollo Travel and make it happen and let her inspire you. Bruce Apollo Travel, Richard Moss, St. Lucia, thank you for watching.